What is going on ladies and gentlemen in this video i'm going to give you the ultimate optimization guide for tekken 8. If you want the best motion clarity the best input lag and you want to see your opponent's moves much easier you want to apply these fixes okay so the first and most important fix it is the most important thing you can do to increase your visual experience in tekken 8 and it's the most misunderstood topic okay it's fps if you want more visibility you want to play more than 60 fps but most people will tell you that fighting games are designed to work on 60 fps and that is simply utterly not true okay so if you drop one or two frames if that is true that will ruin your game okay so the 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 other moves will will not come out as intended and uh, your timing will be off the game will calculate the timing separate from fps and i'll see i'll show you right now okay and that will not change if i unlock my fps as you can see if i unlock my fps right now that will take the same amount of time that doesn't matter i'm playing at 180 fps almost three times as as much as uh, 60 fps and the game does not feel any faster it just looks way smoother and you can see the opponents much clearer and much easier okay so to apply this first we want to optimize the, uh, the graphical settings so you can get the highest fps you can okay so let's just hop right into the graphical settings and then we will continue from there okay so for the graphical settings <clears throat> this will depend on your gpu if you have a low-end gpu mid-range gpu and um high end gpu okay so first you want to play on the full screen mode okay i'm playing on borderless because i'm recording a video okay and then you want the resolution the resolution to be the highest possible you want v-sync if you have a, a low refresh rate monitor you want v-sync on if you have a, a high refresh rate monitor I, I don't see any uh any shimmering or any visual tearing i don't see anything with it off so i turn it off i always turn vsync off because i have a 240 hertz monitor okay the preset is custom and then we are um, i am using dlss quality i always recommend you to run upscaling even if you have a 4090 i always recommend you to run upscaling at least at quality because this does not decrease your visual quality by a lot okay and it will give you more fps that means more fluidity and you can see op opponents much easier okay so for most games i i recommend you to play with dlss on if you have an amd gpu you can use fsr on uh, quality preset so for anti-aliasing for all gpus doesn't matter what you you play on you always want it the highest setting you want you can you can run okay so try to run it at ultra if you can't try it run it at high but i would always recommend you to get the highest setting you can okay for high end gpus you can put these all to on to high okay or ultra doesn't matter depend on your gpu it doesn't matter how how much you you put it ultra and high is not very different from each other so i put it on high because i play on uh a medium range gpu like uh, 3070 okay so that means uh this will give you the best quality okay De experiment with that based on cpu and gpu okay okay so for this option which is post processing quality you always want it to be as low as low as possible okay post processing quality it will just uh, increase your gpu load without giving you any visual advantage and it also sometimes decreases your visual visibility okay so you want this to be off at all times on any gpu okay so background quality i always put it to medium or low because it doesn't matter the background does not matter because i want to focus on the character the characters that are in front of me so this will help me to see more of the character and uh, let me run on higher fps okay and that's it for the graphical settings okay so to unlock your fps you want to search for tekken overlay this mod is very legit you'll not get banned you'll not get in any trouble to when using this mod i have used it for for many years okay so uh go to github and then make sure you have this downloaded visual c plus plus this from here and then you want to go to releases and then you find the latest release and then 
download this file from here okay so after you have extracted all your Tekken overlay files okay you want to run the Tekken overlay exe from here either after you run the game or f or before you run it doesn't matter just run this okay so when you go inside of the game you ran the Tekken overlay it will hook into your game and then you want to press f1 so you can show this uh, settings panel here and then you can click on this arrow to drop it down and then you want to enable fps unlock okay and then you want to set the fps to whatever you want but i recommend to put it as high as you want and then set fps and then enable interpolation okay so if i unlock my fps from the game you will see that my fps is increasing and this will help you to run the game much smoother you will see the opponent's moves much easier this is the best setting i have ever done to any uh tekken game okay so i played this with tekken 7 but it was just a little bit uh, buggy and messy but for tekken 8 it runs very smooth it's a very good mod to run on okay this will give you the best visual quality you will see the, if, once you try this you will not go back to 60 fps i promise you and that's it that is the best optimization guide you you can you can thank me later in the comments but once once you run on on this you will never go back to 60 fps okay so i'll see you guys in the next video peace